you know that the average person will form nearly 400 friendships in their lifetime, but only maintain a handful of truly meaningful connections. Identifying when a relationship, be it with family or friends, starts to detract from your well-being rather than enhance it, is crucial for personal growth and happiness. Let's delve into 11 signs that it might be time to reevaluate your connections and ensure that your social circle truly reflects and supports your best self. 11 signs that you should end every contact, even if it is your family or a friend. 1. Financial matters. When a friend always talks about not having enough money to chip in, but then you see them spending a lot on themselves, it's a red flag. It's one thing to be tight on cash. We've all been there, but it's another to use that as an excuse not to pitch in and then turn around and splurge. This kind of behavior can make you feel used and upset the balance of give and take that friendships need. If someone's always playing the I'm broke card to get out of paying their fair share, but doesn't hold back on their own treats, it might be time to think about where they stand in your life. 2. Fighting all the time. Having a friend who's always getting into arguments and dragging you into them can be really draining. If it feels like they're always in the middle of some drama and expect you to back them up, it can get tiring and stressful. We all want peace and good vibes in our lives, right? So if someone's constantly stirring up trouble and putting you in the middle, it's worth asking yourself if they're the kind of person you want around. Looking for friends who prefer peace over fights can make your life a lot calmer and happier. 3. Disregard for concerns. In the tapestry of human relationships, the thread of empathy is indispensable. When we share our concerns with someone, it's not merely an exchange of words. It's an offering of vulnerability, a trust that our innermost worries will be met with understanding, not dismissal. However, when someone consistently belittles your worries, prioritizing their own without lending an ear to yours, it breaches this fundamental trust. This behavior isn't just disrespectful. It's a stark deviation from the stoic principle of mutual respect that should underpin all relationships. In a healthy relationship, every concern, whether big or small, is acknowledged and treated with importance. It's about creating a balanced space where both individuals feel heard and valued. This isn't to say that every problem requires a solution, but rather, the act of listening and showing empathy is in itself a form of support. When this balance is disrupted and one party's concerns are perpetually sidelined, it creates an imbalance, eroding the relationship's foundation. In the Stoic view, Every individual's perspective is a reflection of their unique journey and understanding of the world, deserving of respect and consideration. 4. Forcing beliefs. The essence of human diversity lies in the myriad of beliefs, opinions, and values that each individual brings to the table. In the realm of Stoicism, this diversity is not just acknowledged but celebrated, as it contributes to the richness of human experience. When it comes to sensitive areas such as religion and politics, the importance of maintaining this diversity becomes even more pronounced. The attempt to impose one's beliefs on another, to convert their viewpoint to match our own, is an act of hubris that overlooks the fundamental stoic principle of respecting individual judgment and autonomy. True strength in a relationship lies in the ability to embrace differences, to engage in open dialogue without the intent to sway or convert. It's about finding common ground and appreciating the value in differing viewpoints, not eradicating them. This approach fosters a deeper understanding and acceptance, enriching the relationship rather than confining it within the narrow bounds of similarity. In a stoically influenced relationship, the focus is on building mutual respect and understanding, recognizing that the true mark of wisdom is not in changing others to fit our mold, but in appreciating the diverse perspectives that each person brings to the collective human experience. 5. Discomfort in company. In the journey of life, change is the only constant. This axiom holds true not just for our personal evolution, but also for the dynamics of our relationships. There comes a time when the comfort and ease we once found in the company of a friend or family member may subtly transition into a source of distress. 
This shift is often a reflection of the natural growth and transformation we all undergo. Our values, interests, and paths may diverge, leading to a misalignment with those we once resonated with closely. It is essential to approach such transitions with a stoic mindset, recognizing that it's a natural part of human relationships. The discomfort you feel is not a sign of failure, but an indication of personal development and change. Acknowledging that a relationship no longer serves its former role in your life is a step towards authenticity and self-respect. It allows you to make space for new connections that align with your current self, fostering relationships that offer mutual growth and fulfillment. Oh, and by the way, before we get to number six, if you're getting value in this video, hit the like button right now. And if you don't want to miss out on my next mind-blowing stoic video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload it. And then, go to the comment section below and type, I subscribe, and I'll personally welcome you to the Stoic community. With that said, let's continue. 6. Perpetual Complainers Stoicism teaches us the value of maintaining equanimity in the face of life's vicissitudes. However, when surrounded by individuals who persistently dwell on the negative, Maintaining this balance becomes increasingly challenging. Perpetual complainers often lack the stoic virtue of accepting what they cannot change and working diligently to change what they can. Instead, they see their environment and companions as mere receptacles for their grievances, often neglecting the impact this negativity has on others. When you find yourself constantly exposed to such negativity, it's crucial to reassess the health of that connection. It's not about dismissing their feelings or struggles, but recognizing the toll it takes on your mental and emotional well-being. Stoicism doesn't advocate for cold indifference, but for a rational assessment of how best to contribute to mutual well-being. If your presence is not aiding in their growth or vice versa, it might be wise to lovingly distance yourself. This is not an act of abandonment, but a profound understanding that sometimes, the kindest thing we can do for ourselves and others is to let go. 7. Unreliability In the realm of relationships, trust is not merely a component. It is the bedrock upon which all enduring connections are built. The act of making a promise is a sacred vow, a testament to one's commitment and respect for the other. However, when promises are repeatedly broken, it erodes this foundation, revealing a lack of regard not just for the bond shared, but also for the emotions and expectations intertwined within it. This pattern of unreliability is a stark signal, a beacon indicating a profound disconnect between words and actions. In the Stoic view, our actions are the truest measure of our character and intentions. Thus, when an individual shows a habitual lack of commitment, it is a reflection of their inner values and priorities. It is not merely about the inconvenience caused by unkept promises, but the deeper realization that this person may not hold the relationship in the esteem you do. The stoic approach in such situations is not one of anger or resentment, but of rational reflection and possibly detachment. It is essential to consider whether maintaining such a connection aligns with your principles and contributes to your tranquility and personal growth. 8. Dwelling on Problems Seeking solace in the company of friends during tumultuous times is a fundamental human inclination. The shared experiences and empathetic understanding provide a unique comfort that can often alleviate the burdens we carry. However, there is a fine line between seeking support and perpetually fixating on the same set of problems without any intention or effort to find solutions. When conversations repeatedly circle back to the same grievances, with no progress toward resolution or acceptance, it can transform the nature of the relationship from supportive to stagnant. From a stoic perspective, the emphasis is on recognizing what is within our control and what is not, and directing our efforts accordingly. Continuous rumination on issues without moving towards actionable solutions is not only counterproductive, but also contrary to the stoic principle of focusing on action. True friendship, in its most valuable form, involves a mutual exchange of wisdom and perspective, where both parties are open to receiving and offering counsel, not just reiterating the challenges at hand. It encourages growth, 
resilience, and the capacity to confront adversity with a constructive mindset. In such dynamics, both individuals emerge stronger, armed with a deeper understanding and strategies to navigate life's inevitable trials. 9. Overbearing Boasting In the tapestry of human interaction, confidence acts as a vibrant thread, weaving through the fabric of our relationships to strengthen and embolden. However, when confidence is overshadowed by the dense cloud of excessive boasting, particularly about past achievements, it distorts the beauty of our connections. The essence of a truly fulfilling life lies not in the echoes of past victories, but in the quiet appreciation of the present moment and the hopeful gaze towards the future. To boast excessively is to anchor oneself in bygone times, neglecting the living, breathing experiences that unfold before us. A stoic mind appreciates the humility in achievements, recognizing that true worth is not in the proclamation of past glories, but in the silent, steadfast pursuit of personal growth and the upliftment of others. It's in this humble approach that we find deeper, more meaningful connections that transcend the superficiality of self-aggrandizement. 10. Lack of Mutual Support The foundation of any enduring relationship is built upon the bedrock of mutual support. This symbiotic exchange, where joy and sorrow are shared with equal openness, is what binds individuals together in a tapestry of trust and understanding. Yet when the scales tip, leaving one to bear the weight of their struggles alone, the strength of that bond is called into question. The absence of support in times of need reveals a chasm, a lack of depth and reciprocity that can render a relationship superficial. Stoicism teaches us the virtue of endurance and the value of a steadfast companion who, like a lighthouse in a storm, remains a constant, guiding light. True friendship is not measured by the frequency of shared laughter, but by the willingness to walk through the shadows together. Each step a testament to unwavering loyalty and shared strength. 11. Inflexibility and Intolerance the beauty of human relationships lies in the rich diversity of perspectives and life paths that converge. Like rivers meeting at a confluence, our differences should enrich and invigorate the waters of our connections, not stagnate them. Inflexibility and intolerance act as barriers, damming the flow of mutual understanding and respect. Stoicism teaches us the value of adaptability. The ability to remain steadfast in our principles yet flexible in our interactions. A relationship stifled by rigidity and a refusal to embrace diversity is like a tree that refuses to bend with the wind. It is likely to break under the pressure of its own intransigence. To foster a relationship that is both enriching and supportive, we must cultivate an environment where diversity is celebrated and personal growth is nurtured. In this nurturing soil, relationships can thrive, grounded in mutual respect and a shared willingness to learn and evolve together. Remember, it's important to cultivate relationships that bring positivity and growth into your life. Don't hesitate to make changes if a connection no longer serves your well-being. Until next time, stay strong, stay stoic, and keep striving for the best version of yourself. If you found this insight valuable, please like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, keep growing and stay stoic.